Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. We'd like to welcome you to our second annual media day. Um, to open us in a word of prayer would be Mr. Payne. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father, we thank you for this opportunity where we can gather again in a sit up uh, event such as this. We ask your presence, your divine presence, upon everything that will be said and done. And at it all, you will receive all the glory, all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good afternoon again. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone once again. Um, sitting at the head table, we have the executive members. For those of you who don't know the executive, this is an opportunity to get to know them. Um, first of all, we have... Wendell Nichols, Director, Priya Mohammed, Director, um, Craig Grant, Director, um, Kenrick Grant, he's not here today, so he sends his regards. Um, we have Laura Lee, Vice President, Andy Davis, Vice President, and we have Mr. Avanel Morton, President. And I'd like to welcome Mr. Avanel Morton to give us a brief remark, some brief remarks, opening remarks. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to have you guys here this afternoon for the opening of our second media day. I want to tell a little about what we have done and what we continue to do in football in the British Virgin Islands. But first of all, I want to say thank you for the 2023 20, 2024 20, participant. All you guys who are going to get your trophies and your award today, I want to say thank you. And it was a well successful tournament for 2023 and I hope 2024 will make a big difference um, at our start of season for the 19th of October we intend to start our new league 2024 to 25 football league so thank you for that, that little introduction there and now I'm going to tell you what we're about to do for football for 2024 2025 and beyond our intention is to continue the development of the Eastern Football Stadium and there's a new proposal, a new setting, a new stand, and everything in place. So far, we have four tenders that arrived in the BVI for the past three weeks, tendering on our process. Um, I know it will take at least 12, 12 to 13 weeks to finish the, the stadium, which is a different stadium than that we proposed um, 2014, 2015. And we're going to have a, a, a new lighting system a new artificial turf with chip wood under, underneath of the artificial turf. And then we're going to um, make sure we have proper fencing and tenders along the way. We are also looking for um, corporate companies to continue join us at the Football Association to get um, sponsorship for the 2024-2025 league. So again, we have a lot in store. We have a lot in store. We are planning also a district league, a youth league, and um, some futsal league across the island. Um, even our BDO Football School League, that will be starting on the 16th, which Mr. Ryan will expand upon that a little more. Um, we're gonna start on the 16th, and we are happy to have 284 Media, CCT, CCT and um, BDO along with us, with a lot of corporate companies who are sponsoring individual school. We are not going to play those games at East End only. We're going to play them across the entire country. We're going to make football this year a community sport. Not just one, but we're going to play at East End. We're going to play at A.O. Sholey. We're going to play at Altea Scatliff, um, Cedar School. So we're going to just make it grand this year. We're going to make football different. We're going to go forward and make sure that football continue to be the number one sport of the British Virgin Islands. And again, thank you for having us here today to present to you um, the executive body, the clubs, the trophies, and everything. So thank you, and I hope that this year, 2024 to 2025, will make football a lot better for the British Virgin Islands. Thank you for your support in everything we ask for. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we now move on to Mr. Ryan Bidio, who has been one of our major partners over the past couple of years. Um, we have seen where the BDO League has taken most of our young guys who plays with the national team. So I'd like to, I'd like to call up Ryan to give us some brief remarks. Thank you, Mr. Master Ceremonies, and, and certainly welcome to, to everybody here and, and everybody who is following 
us on, on social media. So BDO is once again uh, very proud to, to be the, the title sponsor for the BDO Schools Football League. Um, just a show of hands, how many, how many persons here in attendance went through the BDO Schools League at one point? Pretty much everybody. So that's the BDO Schools League um, is probably the quintessential development program here that helps to feed um, the power of the National League and the national program here in, in the British Virgin Islands. So we're, we're very proud as to the, the strength that the, that the league has been able to create over, over the years. We've been a sponsor of, of the league since 2012. Uh, continuously and it's something that we're very proud of because it not only promotes uh, the football program and and development of football but it also promotes the development of wellness uh, amongst all all youth in in the territory and that's something that we we as an organization are very proud of and 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 we as a as a community as a country should be should be very proud of as well so um, we are excited for the developments of the BDO Schools League this year. We're certainly happy that um, the community atmosphere and moving the, moving the program around the various communities within the British, Valley, British Virgin Islands, which is where we started the program, is, is going to continue again this year. We, we moved into the East End field for, for several years, and, and that was great, but it's, it's, it was missing something, and I think it was missing the community atmosphere and the community flavor of it. So we're certainly excited about that side and, and excited about the overall league this year. Um, so as, as was said, um, starting the week of the 16th, we will, be, uh, we will be starting the league up again this year, running through till about Christmas time. So um, look out for it. Look out on social media, hashtag BDO SFL, BDO Schools Football League. So that's, that's the hashtag. Use it all over the place when you see the pictures. Um, but uh, but do, do come out, participate, uh, support the youth, and help to make uh, the BDOs League and football in the BVI growing from strength to strength. Um, so once again, we thank uh, the BDO, uh, BDO we, we thank the BVI Football Association for their support and their dedication towards developing football in the territory. We wish everybody in the National League well uh, for this league the, or this year. Um, the strength of that, of that league has come on, on, the, on the backside of, of the strength of the school league. So they do work very much hand in hand. So um, look out for it. We're excited and hopefully you guys are as well. So thank you very much. Okay, so we now move to the most excited part, the part what everybody's been waiting for, the different awards. First of all, we will start out with the individual awards. So when your name is called, you come around and you take your photo up on the back backdrop. Okay, we'll call upon our vice president, Miss Laura Lee Abrams to assist. So we're going to start with the best male young player, and that is none other than Jaden Kwashi. <laughs> and our female best young player of the year is none other than Chelsea Dyer. So Mr. Kwashi came from BG United and Chelsea came from Avengers. Our male golden glove, guardian of the net, goes to none other than Mackay Waters. From VG United. Only conceded 11 goals. He conceded 11 goals. Uh, it's not here, it's just And our female guardian of the net, Golden Glove, goes to none other than Brittany Peters. And she comes from the Avengers Football Club. Yeah. 
she's not here today, so collecting for her is Miss Chelsea Dyer. Golden Boot Award with 25 goals goes to none other than Hugo Lizario from Walus. I don't know if I said that right. Lizario. Hugo, did I say your surname correct? Hugo. We have a, we have a tie. Killer Flux and thing. Eva. Eva Carey. Killer Flux is from where? Um, she from Virginia, I think, yeah. I don't know where they are. Our female Golden Boot Awards goes to, we have a tie with eight goals each. We have Kyla Flex and Eva Carey. <laughs> Kyla comes from BG United and Eva comes from Walus. Not to do the rest. The male MVP comes from Walyus Football Club, Mr. Phil Nelson. And our female most valuable player for the league is none other than Tequila Richards. Tequila Richards. Richardson. Richardson. Sorry, I'm too excited. <laughs> Tequila Richardson. Okay, we're going to ask, thank Miss Laura Lee. Abrams, Abrams <laughs> for assisting us. <laughs> and we're gonna call upon our next our next vice president, Mr. Andy Davis. Our next award is Female Fair Play and it goes to Team Walus Football Club. Our male fair play award goes to Rebels Football Club. <laughs> Referee of the season. And that was voted on. Goes to none other than Mr. German May. <laughs> Coach the Fig. Yes, let's hear this one. This one goes to Mr. John Riley. And our male coach, that's wrong, that's wrong. Sorry. Coach, give me coach one time. Manager, I give me one next coach. Yes. Coach of the season for the men's league goes to none other 
Then, Richie Morton. Go ahead. <laughs> right? Female manager. Our next award, Female Manager of the Season, goes to none other than Miss Gloria Foy. From Avengers. Miss Gloria Foy. Manager of the season for the Women's League. And our male manager of the season goes to None other than Mr. Jermaine Abrams from Virgin Gorda United. <laughs> Thank you to Mr. Andy Davis. We'll now call upon Miss Priya Mohammed. Craig, you don't have the Emma Keynes from last year? You don't have the cup? Yeah, the cup right there. So call her out. You can do the one first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, our next award would go to the 2003-2004 Emmett Keynes Cup Knockout Champions, and that is Virgin Gorda United. <laughs> <laughs> Just give the woman yeah, she to got Presenting the champions from the Emmett Keynes Knockout Competition 2023-2024. None other than Virgin Gorda United. <laughs> So in addition to that lovely trophy, the team was the recipient of a $2,000 cash prize. Okay, so next, for the 2023-2024 BVIFA Men's National League, we have to mention our fourth place winners, which will be the recipient of $2,500 in fourth place. That was none other than One Love United. And in third place, we have Virgin Gora United. <laughs> they are the recipient of the third place trophy and a cash prize of medal, sorry, and a cash prize of $7,500. Thank <laughs> you. 
the recipient of the second place medals and a cash prize of $10,000. And our second place trophy goes to none other than the Islanders Football Club. We will now call our president, Mr. Avenel Clarkey Morton, to present the first place award. And thank you to Ms. Mohammed. I don't know. That's great. And our first place. 2023-2024 men's BVI national team champions goes to none other than Walus FC. They are the recipient of the first place medals, the first place trophy, as well as a cash prize of $14,000. We're moving on to the women's league. In fifth place, for a cash prize of $500, we have Rebels Football Club. I got you this other time to get in. Huh? Um, you hold the paper and just present it to me. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. In fourth place, <laughs> for a cash prize of $7,500, we have Positive Football Club. Okay. $750, sorry. My apologies. In third place, the recipient of the third place medal and a cash prize of $1,500 goes to none other than Virgin Gorda United. Our second place winners, the recipients of the second place medals and a cash prize of $3,000 goes to none other than Avengers Football Club. Thank you. 
We can't see you. <laughs> Um, where the first place trophy? Oh, they don't have it? Oh. <laughs> and we don't get it just yet. Our 2023-2024 season women's champions. Goes to none other than Walu's Football Club. These ladies already received their first place trophy, so they are now going to collect their medals. And they are also the recipient of a cash prize of $4,000. Our final presentation. We had the seven on seven knockout cup for the female. Just medals they get in. In second place. In second place, we have collecting the silver medal for the seven on seven knockout Rebels Football Club. Is that good, Kathy? No, they don't get any money. Just one announcement after this award is given, we will need a representative from each club so we can do the MNK knockout draw. And the champions of the 7 on 7 knockout cup goes to none other than Avengers Football Club. Thank you.